The infrastructure's code game has changed forever. Hi, my name is Misha, I'm a Microsoft MVP, and today I'm going to show you Azure Verified Modules. Azure Verified Modules is a new project by Microsoft. It started a few months ago, and basically this is Microsoft taking a stance and saying, this is what a good infrastructure as code module looks like. And basically they do everything for you. So if you're still paying people to write infrastructure as code, you might want to pay attention. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm shooting my own foot here. Like infrastructure as code is my bread and butter. But seriously, the work is already done and I, I, I'm going to show you. So Azure Verified Modules is started by Microsoft and basically they are creating both resource modules and pattern modules for infrastructure as code deployments. And in their uh, what, why, and how, here they explain uh, what they exactly are. But here is their mission statement. I think that's interesting to read. Our mission is to deliver a comprehensive Azure Verified Modules library in multiple infrastructure as code languages following the principles of the well-architected framework, serving as a trusted Microsoft source of truth. Supported by Microsoft, AVM will accelerate deployment time for Azure resources and architectural patterns, employing every person and organization on the planet on their infrastructure as code journey. A beautiful mission statement and uh, it's it's already come true. It has already come true. Microsoft ha is assigning full-time employees to be owners of infrastructure as code modules. So let me show you here in the module index. All of these are Azure resources. So here we have a container app and here we have um, a virtual machine. We have budgets, we have container groups, but also AKS clusters, storage accounts. Each module is assigned a full-time employee within Microsoft who is responsible for the infrastructure as code for this and who is managing this. So this is basically a public registry of infrastructure as code modules to which people can submit issues and pull requests. So it's also a community-driven effort here. Microsoft is taking a stance and saying, this is what a good module should look like. They are so gatekeeping the changes that are done to the modules. They own the modules and they support the modules. That also means that you can um, file issues for the modules if something is wrong. And I've been working with these for uh, about a month now. I've deployed them at customers, and I must say it is a true, true pleasure to work with these modules. And to show you what these uh, look like, so if you go into container apps, for example, here they will um, show you the usage examples, and this, this was mind-blowing the first time I saw it. Because if you have a bicep module, this is all you need to write in order to have a fully functional Azure container app. Like you can copy and paste this and deploy it. It's that easy. Then they show you using a large parameter set. So here we they have more parameters that you can give. And then finally, they usually include a WAF aligned example. Now this is absolutely mind blowing. The, the well-architected framework, well-architected framework, if you, if you uh, print this, it is like several thousand pages of infrastructure as code knowledge um, or uh, Azure cloud deployment best practices all condensed into this entire framework. And if th this is what architects uh, make their living off by knowing this. But if you can go into a module and say, okay, I want it WAF aligned, copy, paste, and you have a fully WAF aligned, all according to latest security best practices, all your resources are deployed exactly as they should according to the well-architected framework. Like, this is just absolutely mind-blowing. And it's also um, eliminating a lot of work. Like, I'm a cloud engineer, and writing this stuff is my bread and butter, and they make my life a lot easier but it's also going to eliminate a lot of work. And um, yeah, that is just the times we live in, basically. And I, one, on the one hand, I think it's a sad thing. On the other hand, the, 
I think it's amazing. I I I I'm so like I'm in awe of Microsoft that they put this um, effort in, and that they um, provide this to the community to make it so easy to provide to deploy infrastructure to their to their platform. It's amazing. So these modules, like I said, they have a Microsoft employee who owns them, and then it is all. Uh, ex extremely well documented. You can see all of the parameters here. It's all generated from the code. And um, one thing that is also extremely valuable with the, uh, the Azure Verified modules, well, there are a few things. Firstly, they are standardizing the way you can pass parameters to these modules. And secondly, they translate the modules across different infrastructure as code languages where you can use these common interfaces. So if we go into the module specification and then to interfaces, then here you see they have defined all of these interfaces for the module. So for example, the role assignment interface, here they, they have created a custom type for the role assignment and then these types are implemented into all of the modules. So all of the role assignments are always going to be looking exactly the same. Because the thing is that underwater, many of these uh, BICEP APIs, they sometimes have their own little uh, implementation. They might be different from one another. So by creating an interface like this that is applied to all of the modules, you can use the same configuration style to use with all of the modules. It's absolutely amazing. And then secondly, here you have the BICEP example, but if you have it here in Terraform, they will have the exact same terminology for Terraform as well. So this way you can easily translate your infrastructure as code deployments between BICEP and Terraform, for example, if that is something that you need to do. Uh, another example here is the, the resource lock. So here there is the, the, the type of the lock type, and then there are the, the accepted inputs for that type, and then it is exactly the same in BICEP and in Terraform. It is absolutely amazing, and that is, this is going to make code bases for infrastructure's code so much better by having these interfaces for your modules. So that is absolutely amazing. And then uh, just the fact that these modules are uh, indexed like this, but these are for BICEP. But here you also have the Terraform index, and they will all have the same setup, the same approach, the same interfaces, the same um, methodology behind them. So it is absolutely amazing. And... It is just a pleasure to work with. So to do a quick demonstration, let's go into the BICEP resource modules and let's let's deploy a Azure Container instance completely WAF aligned. So let's see, we go to the container group, which is the API, API name for the container instance. So container group, and then we go to usage examples and click WAF aligned. And then we open the BICEP module example code here, copy it. And in my terminal, I'll create a main.bicep and paste that in. And then all we need to do is to find the version of the module. So I go back to the registry, and then we see here the container group. And here we see the version 0.2.0. .0. So we go to our version here and press 0.2.0. .0. And then we can uh, go through this. Um, so here we have a name. So let's... ACI AB, uh, ABQ, I don't know, I'm just do something. They have this example image that they have here. They're opening ports. They are um, adding resource requests. And let's check out, oh, this is a second container instance. Well, let's just deploy one. So we can just remove like this. And then here we have the IP address ports. And then here we have a uh, op, um, optional parameter, um, location parameter. So let's do West Europe here. 
and here are some non-required parameters. But that's it. This is all you need for deploying an Azure Container instance completely WAF aligned with Bicep. So let's quit that. Then AZ group create deployment create. And then we're going to do main up bicep and the group Misha test. So now our deployment is running. It will take a moment. So I'll be right back and see how our deployment is done. So here we see our deployment has finished. And if we go back to Azure into my resource group here, we see that the container instance is here. And this is how easy it was to deploy something with the new Azure Verified modules. It's just so amazing. And look at all of the resource modules that are here, guys. It is like for the key vaults, for virtual machines. And all of them are just as easy to work with as this. So even though it is taking away my bread and butter, I fully support this project. I have also made a few pull requests already to this project. The contributing to the project is actually very easy. And they have some very cool uh, CICD happening for the project. So just by um, contributing to this project, you're going to learn a lot. I can promise you. I've learned a lot alre already. And it's just a huge inspiration. And to see how professional, high-quality infrastructure as code should look like. So Azure Verified Modules check them out and use them as you're in your work as a cloud engineer. It's going to make your, your life a lot easier. I'm super stoked about this and it has been a pleasure to work with. So hopefully you are going to like them as much as I do. For now, I wish you a good day and I hope to see you in the next video.